Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from the matchup between Gen G and BLG during the quarterfinals of Worlds 2023. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Tough to consistently get the success. I really like this from Sean. Continued attention towards the bot side. Pays and the light are pretty full. Do have their summoners available, but even blowing them would already be a big win. Only cleanse on Pays as well. On can look for that handshake. Delight standing in front. There's the ignite. Pays cleanses with a flash follow from Shun means the Pays pays the ultimate price. Bailout on on won't get him out of dodge this time. One for one trade in the bottom lane. The the play is worth it though the lane itself so they can just keep information as to whether or not Peanut is trying any lane ganks and you can see the PLG's game plan is so committed to Grab playing around bots. On's gonna get rude, he doesn't have flash remember, flash forward by Peanut and on pays the price in the bottom lane, Gen G back on the board, pays gets his second of the game, Doran trading in the top lane, Grandmaster's might on to Bin, Bin tries to turn it back around, Doran trying to get the empowered autos off, both of them still have their flash, On's lack of summoner spells and now they have the kill lead. Ooh, Doran might get hot here. He does have flash. Counter strike early. Shun trying to get away from it. Eats a honey fruit and it's fine for the moment. Doran forced away. Wave is crashing in, but you can see Peanut already worked his way up through this topside jungle. So if a dive does occur or materialize, Peanut is in the right position at the right time. And the Not Gods looking for something as they go forward. Bin has to flash away. Doran has a flash. Follow counter strike coming out. And Bin is locked up and sent packing by Genji. And Peanut is puffing. This game has been immaculate. Covering for the early. To cover for a potential dive and, and make a kind of play as, oh, you go. Let's force the flash. Um, we immediately saw the pings go down. However, Gen G trying to contest this hero there. I don't know if Peanut, his reinforcements are on the way. The light's on his way across. No fates call yet for Elks on half the time on that, but they do have the hostile takeover if they want to look for more. Shun goes in, they find Pays. Cataclysm down, but the Devour already used by Delight. And now the hostile takeover popping as well. The shield from Pays, he tries to cleanse away, but he's slowed. Severum's gonna heal him up, but Peanut pulled back with a handshake. And BLG win out the skirmish. Really big win there for BLG, and this is the disrespect that we saw Genji show MSI. Elk was one of the breakout standout players of the entire tournament. People were putting him in the conversation for best performing AD is Chovy. Now has Flash, but he's not going to be able to get away from Pina, who lands the stun immediately. The Shockwave only catches onto Chovy, and Yagao is going to get chased down here. Chovy puts down the soldiers, and Yagao is buried beneath their feet. Doran with a good jump away, but Shun! Chases in and still it's only Shun that's picked up kills for BLG. And it's punch and immediate counter punch. Gen G are able to punish the Oriana as we saw. Uh, jokingly is able to say, hey, I, you know, I, I, I'm not the star. I don't have a lot going on. But in his play, I think you can see he has a lot of these moments as the contest is going to come through. TP in. Shun can look for this. Counter TP burnt by Yagao. Shun on the front line. Bin's going to dash across the board. The Rift out down to a thousand. Hostile takeover though is going to do so much work. Pays. Already Berserk as the line is forced away and now Doran's in the midst of BLG and Bin is looking to send him packing into the recycling he goes. Come back next time as Bin chases the rest of Genji away. Genji picked this fight and they do not want it anymore. Chobi has to burn the flash as the voyage out from Delight is abyssal and the fight for Genji was abysmal. It's at this point in the game where BLG want to fight you and Genji... Chobi looks for a play, gets a flash out of Elk but... Try and walk across here, but Yagao's doing a really good job of keeping the ball down. Peanut now going to try and chase forward, but Yagao is in the right position to stop them. The Magna Storm for Peanut, he's nowhere near them! It's just miles away, they got an EpiPen or something, because Peanut not doing anything to them as BLG secured the ocean. And that was a Peanut at Worlds moment if I've ever seen one. The engage goes wide. Genji now don't have an easy way to start the fight, Doran. Going to get brought back, pops the stopwatch, handshake coming out, Moonlight Vigil does hit the Inferno, and there's the hostile takeover, Cataclysm onto the back line though, and Doran's been locked up, the Shockwave finds him, the Devourer comes out as Chovy starts to retreat, but already it's two kills to BLG, and Genji are found wanting by the unwanted aggression from BLG. Genji, and with not too much gain, they have mid-wave prio, but will it be enough? Elder spawns, Elk starts it, Bin keeps Doran and Peanut at bay, no flash for Peanut, remember, just burns it, but he can get into this fight, the Shockwave finds Chobi, Delight and Pays now beginning to step it up, Devour available for Delight, Pays dodges the Berserk for the hostile takeover, already finds one, and Bin is done with this game, the Elder secure, Pays tries to dash away, but Bin puts him in his place as BLG clean up in the river. And BLG immediately head towards the bot side of the map, 
Wave is ready. No turret standing there. Doran desperately trying to draw some attention, but it was not enough. And BLG take a resounding victory here in game number one. And it looks like Gen G and Masai might have been half a year ago, but ago, but it's not looking that different in game number one. I tell you, let's all the time between these two teams. It seems as BLG come out to an early lead and we're able to snowball it away from Gen G. A few mistakes. For Gen G, Doran as well in the top lane specifically had struggled into bin after a few good early forays and BLG never let go of the reins. Gen G respawning, but the Elder still stands on BLG and they can look for the fight. The Magnuson finds two, but Pay is pulled back and he's just deleted by the laser. Peanut follows suit and BLG playing with Gen G as they clean it up to go 1 0 up in this quarterfinal. Shun's only death to the Nexus at the very end. The game, they have a lot of options. Expectations are that they would look to play through bots once again early on into the game. Um, this top matchup is going to be super interesting. Rumble into Aatrox uh, is something that, well, we haven't seen a huge amount on the patch. Like, the Shy can of hugs from Delight, that shield coming out, keeping Pays topped up around 300 health. The heal early here as they look for the chase. Elk and On both have their flashes. Elk already invested a ghost flash forward. Twisted advance, knocked back onto On. And Gen G played to this tune in game one. The bear now coming out and On will be brought back. And now Delight is next on the menu and Elk can turn it around. Double buff for him. It's going to be two, but a great flash from Delight. Got escape from Elk. Two kills. Back into range of Elk to get that execution. If nothing else, they were going to get a one for one. They turned it into two for one. Now BLG look for the dive. Knock up on door and he tries to flash away, but the chase is there and the ignite is ticking. Bing tanking the tower shots can flash away. Peanut trying to answer as well, but he can't face the might of BLG's top and jungle. He just doesn't for them. A little bit over eager at times to find a good play. Since then, he has been so consistent. He's been such an integral part of the 15-1 record that BLG maintained through the regular season. Shun here smites away. On is looking for a little bit more. They can harass. No flash, Pace Peanut. has flash, though. They look for Peanut. The handshake's going to pull him back at Peanut. Even in the cozy campfire, we'll find nothing but death and despair. Pays now chased away, has the flash to get across the wall. They try and turn onto Shun, but Pays has to burn his flash as Chovy goes in, but Shun won't even fall. The bailout was on him. Wouldn't have revived him, but BLG are just outplaying Gen G. And it's to come back into that into that game. And then against G2, they looked very convincing for the large part outside of losing game two. Doran now going for a bit of a trade. Yeah, nice trade the against Bin. on his way with the Nature's Grasp as well, but you can see Shun ready to react. Bin rooted up. Shun is on his way. The equalizer down and Doran's burning. Bin trying to turn it around and Doran will fall the first and Peanut's buried next to his brother as BLG strike. Bin just refuses to fall. The man in the bit of exaggeration. Any game we have seen at Worlds as the TP comes up towards the top lane. Chovy's going to knock Bin back, and finally, Gen G are finding something proactive. Bin is going to try and get his way away here. Will fall down. Equalize on the wave to make sure it's cleared out. Gen G find a small glimpse of hope. Oh, just flashing the wall. So what that's probably just, just timing someone's flash. But he just flashes in. Maybe he thought he could catch Elk. They did have a ward in there, but now that's the third Drake of the game over to BLG, and it is looking dire for Gen G. And before at MSI, uh, but you know that's that's me. I, I have a, a bit of a personal stake. Oh, in they go. They do okay, finally engage Shun. He has the flash. Goes in with the cataclysm, and now there's the TP hostile takeover from on as well. It's going to catch two. The equalizer down, and Chovy is burning in the river lava underneath his feet as Doran. Probably regretting that lack of flash now as Yagao catches him with the shockwave. The EQ combo from Shun. Sends him to an... BLG just haven't been making too many mistakes through these games. There's the Nature's Grass as Gen.G look for something. Baron up in 10 seconds. If you find a fight here, maybe you can turn it into more. The hostile takeover being popped. Chovy dodges away from the Shockwave as Peanut's in the back of the pit. Doran trying He's to get out. onto Elk, but Elk yet untouched. And Doran, the warm hugs are not enough to keep him alive as Elk flashes forward. Pays is about to meet his maker as Elk sends him into the dirt. And BLG coming from a mile away. Gen G in the desperation, try to get anything, force a fight. But with the summoner still available, it's just not enough. And BLG about to take Baron and a resounding 2-0 lead in this series. Surely from here on out within bits of their next.
but they are too far behind, it feels. And I really do feel like that we're seeing the return of the regular season BLG. Yeah. It's been a, a bit of an up and down. The Nexus, Yagao keeps everyone interested as the equalizer popped on pace. Yes, TP. Doran trying to defend, been pulled back. TP available for Yagao as now he recalls. Elk takes the first Nexus Tower and BLG start to disengage. I'm pretty sure Yagao actually flashed Chovy. Oh, the, is the breath of life! Oh, just about keeps Pays alive, but now Bin and Shun are looking for more. They've taken Dorm and Bin will fall. Yagao TP's in, no shockwave on him for about 20 seconds, but the EQ flash onto Chovy. He dashes in, but the Elk has the escape tool. Feathers fly and Genji die in their own base. The Baron buff remains for 20 seconds more. Pays has flash. No ult, no dash away as he now flashes to escape. Only the cannon minion surviving here, but BOG makes the push a little. Coaching for Shun, obviously monstrously strong. Has the Shoujin finished as well. Gen G, it's a 14, a 13k gold deficit here. You're fighting against Infernal Soul, even with a steal. I don't think it's enough. The thing is, even if it's a steal, you get the fight that you look for, but Peanut decides the minions battering down the base. Shun goes forward with the flag and drag, and that's another inhibitor tower forfeit by Gen G and happily taken by BLG. Time is running out for Gen G, at least in this game, maybe in Worlds, if they can't find a way to fight back against BLG in game three. BLG were underdogs at MSI, they're underdogs hit again at Worlds, but despite that, they stand strong and they're looking to go to match point against Gen G. It has been destruction, demolition, the most one-sided series we have seen in a while here at Worlds. Pina has to flash away, the cataclysm in will end Chobi's day, and now Doran and the rest of Gen.G can only stand and watch on the fountain, but even there, they are not safe from the unending assault of BLG. And BLG, two ends. I think it's uh, best champion outside of the Jax. Then you have, again, the combo of the Orianna and the Draven. Shun has had an incredible series thus far. I think the only upside is that, you know, I think the Brom is better into Nautilus, but to oh, this single dragon so far in this in series thus far. Yeah, I, would, I, I don't know the dragon takes for MSI, but I wouldn't be surprised if uh, it, it, it holds true there as well. I mean, bot lane prior gives you that. It's like if yeah. you want to play through bot lane to dragon, having the, uh, the bot lane that always gets the push helps you out a huge amount as we see the dragon. When you are expected to beat the second seed from the LPL, when you are the favorites coming in, only Extenuate those circumstances as the Nature's Grass comes out. Smite secured by Peanut as they look for the engage world ender. Chobi with a great base seal locks up two. Yagao trying to join the fray. Bin low, but he's able to dash away. Doran going forward. First blood to Gen G. And signs of life for Gen G and signs of life here in Busan. And Yagao doesn't have flash because of the earlier play. We'll see if Peanut can extend, but he That's dies. Shockwave. Peanut goes timber, ace in the hole onto light. The glacial fish are going wide, but flash ignite into the build over Peacemaker is enough for BLG in the bottom line. Work. 2v2 kill found, oh, delight. delight now. Depth charge onto Elk, he still has flash, he still has heal, but where's he gonna dash to? As the Gen G bot lane comes to life as well. Gen G 2 and 2 now. They have the Rift held in the pocket of Peanut. Do they want to just put it down? Equalize the kills, and Pay is getting a crucial one. Will help close the gold gap between him and Elk. He needs those plates, and he's gonna get some gold off the back of that. So, a much needed play there for Gen G. Delight finds his opportunity. Trophy going in with the. Soul and Bam pull back with the shock but he can dash away. The face seal blocked though with the cataclysm. And Chobi will fall every time Gen G get on the board. BLG answer. For BLG has been really big this series. Yagao has no ultimate. Peanut has his. The Nature's Grass possibility is there's the Glacier Fisher. Nature's Grass used, but they all line up. Good hook onto the back line as the TP is now invested from either side. Chobi trying to come in from the top side of the fight, but Doran's already dead. And now pays them to cleanse away. The ace in the hole finds his prey, but only 100 HP left now on the kills. And surely pick up the dragon as well. Yeah, I mean, that response from Pin. We saw him do this so much in the G2 series, the rate at which he's able to react with TPs to make these cross maps. I feel like Genji haven't won a single, truly won a single skirmish, right? Oh, it's no. always been a one for one or a one for two or they get the objective, but they lose on the cross map. And it's something that they usually were very consistent in. 
Not gonna be the case here as BLG will give up the Herald. I think part of it is exemplified here. If BLG... Bin to answer. Will be a bit separated from his team. But all right, here we go. Third dragon of the game. It's Gen G that at yep. first to the objective. And I think BLG are actually just going to give this one up. Yep. They just decide top lane tower is more important. Bin makes sure they don't lose the turret off it as well. So it's a Drake for a tower trade across the main hard for Gen G to hold. TP seemed a little over eager from Gen G there. Felt like the tower was pretty much lost. Could have just kept pushing in the bot lane, but. They try to invest some resources into defending. Delight is looking for Yagao, but Shun steps in the way. The depths are coming out as one. Well. The killer instinct, a possibility here for Paisy. Dives in, they find Yagao, the shock wave. It's not going to be enough. And Genji proactively find the enemy mid. A red stolen and bound. Genji don't really have the vision control as of yet. They're going to try and garner it now, but there's wards behind them as well. The dragon started would be the second for Genji. Down to 5,000. Bin with the Dominus. Slowed. Stopped by Dorman, who acts as a bodyguard. Now the hook onto Bin. Knocked up with a death charge as well as Bin tries to heal himself up. Chovy getting onto the back line with the shockwave. Pulls him out. That? Shut out. Chovy down. But him is pays to find another the dragon going over. Flash away from Elf. Twisted the bars. They die as well. On. On the front line. Trying to get in the way as Shun forces Pays away. Shun will take down Pays. And Elk still standing like he's ever been for BLG. Elk. Still survives, but Doran finally comes to life. A triple for the Aatrox as Genji even out the fight. It's four dead on either side. The dragon goes in favor of Genji. Doran looking for one more. Shun, can you escape? He saved everything in this series for this moment. Can't find Shun. Set up the snap trap line, and Genji have to work their way down through the bottom side to make sure they can get in here in time. Delight has the flash, though. They just need vision cleared out by Shun. The dragon down to 4,000 as Gen G look to push forward, push BLG off. Infernal change. There's the Nature's Grass as well. The dragon's secured. It's Shun that gets it. Do we see a fight afterwards? Chovy for the big purple worm. Now there's a big cooldown. At the very least, I think BLG want to try and force Chovy's TP, force a response here. And in the best case scenario, they pick up the Baron. The Baron has been begun. There's the TP from Chovy. Delight. Looking for vision in the pit, puts a control ward in. Dorman going forward with the World Ender. And on the back of the wings of the World Ender, Genji look to make their final stand. BLG's fate sealed by the combination of the Aatrox and the One. And Busan roars into life. It is the flank that they've been looking for. It feels like the entire series. Finally, Genji get the jump on BLG, who tried to bite off a little bit more than they can chew and at the very least genji gonna walk away with a baron here well played fight from genji elk didn't even get to use his flag it's when the inhibitor towers are being pushed because genji will want to try and push two waves but now we see shun stepping a little bit too far forward locked up with just the hook no ultimates burnt from genji on takes a chunk as well shun down to half hp bin stepping forward dormant level 18 already able to keep the rest of BOG away and Delight and Doran teaming up to make sure that BOG are on the back foot as Chovy goes forward, on going in. Shun looking for the Cataclysm as well, pops his stopwatch as Doran goes down, the, the Baron secured. But BOG can look for more, how much further can they chase? Not much is the... They are in the driver's seat of this game, but as you said, BOG haven't been given much quarterback. And it might just be a soul into a Baron, into an Elder. Bank position. Shun tries to dive onto him. The Mortal Steel gets the knock-up. Doran going forward has been with the Dominus is locked up. Stopwatch, is it enough to buy him enough time to get out? It is for now, but Pei dives forward and Bin dies and Genji have found the fight they were looking for. They turn their eyes back to the Baron. Genji finally finds something. A pick onto Bin is absolutely massive. BLG are making the call. We'll abandon the Baron, it does not matter. We're try we're going to try and defend for as long as we can. I did. The Yone in the top lane. Chovy the target for now, but the cannon minions doing enough work on those inhibitors. Inhibitors in the bottom lane will fall. Pays locked up, flashes away. The cataclysm will get his GA, but is it enough here for BLG? Doran coming in from the flank as Pays is brought back to life. The flag and the drag from Shun is just found a wanting, but the engage continues from BLG. Gen G disengaged. First. Part of Om's ultimate actually clips him, gets the knock up, and it's enough as Chovy. He's gonna kill him. Falling low, has the shield, oh. but it's just enough to keep him alive. BLG were pushing forward to try and fight for the Elder, but Gen G are looking for the Nexus. Shun already caught out as they look for more. 
He's trying to get away, but there's one, there's two, there's more! The Genji! Bay's diving forward, the Killer Instinct living up to its name as Shun tries to get away and will escape to live another day. But the Nexus, the target in the eyes of Genji, as they are looking to fight back in this series. A reverse sweep is what it will take, and Genji have taken the first step. A crazy one that they get torn through the laning phase, and I also think that it's important that they find some advantages in the bot lane 2v2. Ash Tom can be super obnoxious to play against. Um, but yeah, I think that this game is going to come down to a lot of team fight execution, and this is where I think a champion like Akali. In fact, in the top lane, Delight look for the engage flash away from on. Shun can go in now. EQ flash away from Pays. The flash doesn't follow, but Pays is dead. The flip back onto On is not enough. On not tanking the tower. Abyssal Voyage forward. The dodge from Delight. He still has flash. Elk now tanking the tower. Shun and On haven't hit Elk. Uh, haven't hit Delight. And so in. One and Peanut looking for a lane gank here. And Shun's coming down as well. This way, pushing away from Pays and Delight means that Shun can just push forward himself. Elk trying to open up with the Rangers. Focus. The engage onto Elk. He still has flash heal, but he doesn't have time to get out. Delight gets the kill. Not what you would have wanted for Gen G. Meanwhile, Bin trading with Doran in the top lane, and I know who's winning this one. Cassante doing Cassante things as the double flash has been used, but there's no dodge for the Q3 unless Doran puts on his dancing shoes. Can't find. Of game four. They're definitely not down and out just yet, but they needed to make something happen. But Jun now looking for something. Down looking for flank as well. No flash on Pays, none on Delight either, or even Peanut. Pays pops the cleanse, but he's been locked up and he'll be shot out of the battle. Shun takes the kill. Delight next on the menu. He's ready for a tongue lashing. Yagao flashes, but can't get in range. To First item to look for fights, and I'm looking for a fight right now. This season assist from Peanut could come in if he can get there in time. They're just trying to lock up out for as long as the possible. Level up! Devour now used. He is level six. The season assist. Will they wait in time? Peanut can't get in range. His flash about five seconds away. Oh, a crucial level up there. If On doesn't hit six off of that wave, Elk is a hundred percent dead. Would have hit the root if he uh, if he didn't flash there. So then Bin could have changed his CC. That would have been enough. That should still be the Drake going over. Doran picks at least up a little bit of gold, but I think BLG is going to take that trade anytime whoa, whoa, as they're teleporting whoa, whoa. in. Five second on Fate's call. Delight and Doran looking for something here. The equalizer could come down, but just wasted in the end. On his way, like, can you kill Bin at this point? You We're have about to find out, man. Only a Divine Sundra. The equalizer down onto Bin. Doesn't take too much damage. The Rift Hell charges in. The Magnet Storm there as well as the Enchanted Crystal Arrow hits underneath the tower. Bin dashing away. Surviving Fate's call used as well, but Peanut. With excessive force, finds the kill. Does mean the tower doesn't fall. Pays will be able to get through. And uh, like, aside from Tom Kench, we might see it right here. Just looking for Elk. Maybe trying to get the Devourer down. Does have the flash. Doesn't have the flash, in fact, to get away. And Charter Crystal Arrow into the Magnus Storm. Chovy extending forward for the Devourer. Still available for BLG here as Pays tries to get on towards the back line. But Delight now pulled out with the face call. Abyssal Voyage forward by On. Chovy walking away, wounded on with the flash forward. And Shun coming in from the side. Chovy cataclysmed and brought to his knee. Chuni for BLG to just overload and just throw down a Herald, try and uh, push down. They can do that. They can also look for a contest. BLG have given up the ghost on this one. You can see Yagao walking yeah. forward. I, nah, I'm just going to clear the way. Not Shun feeling it. Just taking the red as well. And I, I think a lot of it comes down to what you mentioned, Chronicle. We find at BLG's blue, can Chovy survive? What could be a five-man dive. Yagao coming in as a clone of Elk. And Chovy will realize as the arrow hits, he might be just caught out. He tries to flash, but he can't get away in time. Knocked back with the Intopos. And Chovy stayed a little bit too long. Didn't respect the arrow from Elk. The era of LPL dominance returning after a brief delay last year at Worlds. Peanut stepping forward here as the engage comes in from BLG and Peanut's locked up. Yagao pops blossoms as Genji starts to go pop. The equalizer coming down and Shun now on the wrong side of the rip. But he can just EQ back to join his team. Pays rooted with the tango bars as Chovy looks for the back line of the Devourer. Save for this eventuality. He has to dash away. Peanut just steps forward, gets caught, and now BLG making their way over to the Baron. No smite for Genji. But a fight perhaps begins to materialize. No tangle barbs, remember, for BLG, only the Cataclysm. And a Devourer for On. Do you go in with a Magnus Storm? You do, Delight tries to dive in. Doran trying to burn BLG alive as On is taken out by the re-engage from BLG. Perfection executed once again. Doran and Chovy in a 2v4 fighting 
for the lives of Gen.G, for the lives of the LCK, but can't find it. BLG get the Baron. LG staring down a very long walk back into this game. Two items complete on Pei's Ginsu's and the Blade of the Ruin King. Yagao here, cease and desist coming out as they try and lock him up. Doesn't have the flash, but has the pot blossom. Choby dashes in, dashes back, dashes out, and dashes forward for the kill. Peanut takes it. Can they get out though? Looks like they will be. BLG don't want to overinvest towards the top side of the map on the cross. The TP now coming through. But as you rightly said, it will slow BLG down a little bit, but I don't know if it's enough. The wave play. Oh! Magnasaur flash engaged the equalizer down as well as the TP. Genji to pull the trigger, and they're looking to burst out Elk. Joby dashing around and Elk will fall. It's hunting season for Genji, and they found what could be the biggest kill of them all. They found a way back into game four. I thought that it wouldn't be enough, but Genji just shut me right up. A beautiful engage in mid lane. Catches BLG completely off guard. And just like that, as you said, Medic, Genji have found a lifeline. Might be able to get the kill on Bin here as well, and he's going to be disjointed. Uses the mobility. Oh god, Kasante takes. Yeah, Bin just doing Bin things here on the Kasante, and Tofu's come out. Shields! The sh it's late, so late is not enough. The shield's not enough to keep Kasante alive. But again, I draw my eyes towards the mid lane, and I look at these items now being finished for Chovy. Level 15, soon to hit level 16. Elk. Elk has flash heal. He tries to get across the wall and gets into the Razor Beak pit, but on is deleted. Chovy looking for more. He's going to dive forward into four members. He has a stopwatch, but does he have enough time? The Pop Blossom comes out. Chovy survives as he gets off towards the top side, and there it's Yagao. And Busan roars into life once again. And there is no objective up, but Gen. We're going to be keeping our eyes on him as the game continues. He made that mid lane game saving play. Let's see if Shun. he can find another. Shun looking for a fight. Look where oh, Peanut delight. and Delight goes in. On trying to keep Elk alive. The pop bottom comes out just in time from Yagao. But Yagao is ben. gone. And BLG might be too. Elk trying to do everything he can. But Elk has been mounted on a wall. Delight survives. BLG die. And Gen G do it all. They have fought back from the absolute brink in game two. And it looks like we're going all the way. It took one engage just as we were talking about him. Delight again was an incredible engage. He finds three members and how does Elk even get to play the game? He doesn't. And to me, this rumble, I don't even feel like Doran is necessarily having a pop-off game, but the rumble has just made it so hard consistently. But as you already pointed out, the and them and the biggest prize of all of that Nexus. The arrow. The arrow onto Doran, but Delight is in the way. If BLG overstep, there's the equalizer already. Doran getting chunked out, and Doran is done so. Chovy pushing in the mid lane. Delight can re engage. No flash for him to disengage this, Shun. though. Shun misses the flag and drag across the wall. The stun from Delight. Chovy starting to collapse. There's the base call. And if Yagao can find a flank, that'll be the difference maker. Chronicle was talking about it earlier. Oh, here we go! In. The Devourer immediately, Delight tanky enough, but Chovy is being dealt with by BLG right now. The Pop Blossom doesn't find it, Pace flashes the wall and immediately engages. Chovy's on a rampage now, and Gen G are just grinding up BLG. A double for Chovy, they wipe them away. The TP towards mid, Gen G are done with this game. He's 17 and he's flashing over a wall with his back against the wall. Pace still find the play, Bindo. You know, relentless force and even more aggression from Genji. Delight in pays after being put behind in the early game of putting on a clinic here at 35 minutes. It's game five, a reverse sweep on the cards for Genji. And Busan and all Korea are behind them. That Doran doesn't have to win the lane, but if, if Bin gets fed, I think this game becomes almost unplayable very quickly for Genji. I also think Delight in the last game, as good as he was, was enabled by the fact that it was a Fate's Call, allowing him to go for much riskier plays. Delighting how awkward this is for Genji in the early game, and Shun is looking. Doran underneath the tower, EQ flashes over, Doran able to flash away, oh, and Knight will take him down, and he will fall first blood to BLG. Shun's jump.
But it is what priority in the lanes gets you. Yeah. Like Bin pushes in the wave, goes place of ward at the crux. Spot lane gets pushed in, on can walk up, place of ward at the blue buff. You can see even now Yagao actually the one to get that ward over the wall. And BLG using the fact they have push mid, push bot, will get the first Drake of the game. A little later than some of the ones we've seen, but still relatively fast at only seven minutes in. It's Kaisa and a level oh, six Oh yeah, rail. don't get me wrong. I, I don't think that needs to be the play, but you'd, uh, you'd want to try something. That's a yeah. I agree with you. There's the Rift Tower picked up for Peanut. Neutral objectives traded early on here. Dragon for BLG is this bottom lane. The Dragon started up by BLG, investing all five members into this. And you can see Genji accepting the fact that BLG invest the resources. We don't really want to have to react instantaneously to it. So instead, we'll give it up, get pushed. We do now double TP invested. Bin, still no flash, does have the equalizer. Chovy dancing around, sees and assist available to Peanut. Doesn't use it because Bin is already done for. Chovy takes the kill. Meanwhile, the Magnus Storm onto Elk. He tries to flash away. Pay stepping forward, has the killer instinct on. Is pushing in the side lane. No TP for him to join the fight. Yagao with the shockwave, but Pay takes him out. The killer instinct finds its mark. Dorman locked up with the last embrace, but I don't think he is into them. Chovy. Oh, Yagao with the sidestep was going back to the wave, but still the dragon though. Genji used the time to take the Drake, and BLG will have Pryo down the mid lane, but. How much can they get out of that? The tower's still standing for now, but not for much longer. It will be full F2. And they're just going to start yeah, it. Yeah, they go back Peanut's to it, of course. Peanut's going to pot. Pays is all the way down towards the blue whoa, whoa, as well. Whoa, 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 This is a massive mistake from Genji. The LG won't do it too quickly. It's only Shun, Yagao, and Bin there Dorn right now. Mega. Coming in as well. But Dorn's they don't know. Fall off. Mega Delight can step forward. The control ward in the Baron pit allows Genji vision of it. Elk still trying to do what he can. The equalizer down pays on as well as well. Oh, right. the storm hits on three. Trophy dives onto the back line but misses. The Shuriken as Delight will fall first. Pays doing everything he can as Peanut has to dash away. The center will hit him from long range. Now Dorvin forced away. It's a two for one so far in favor of BLG. Dorvin just able to scrape his way away. Wow. In, caught with the last embrace but he goes into the Twilight Shroud. TP now invested by Genji. The Dragon no should. Doran able to dash away, Shun going in with Cataclysm, but now Delight can really open up. Magnus Storm not quite off cooldown. Doran has a stopwatch, but all he can buy is the second the equalizer now out. Doran falls, Chovy looking to hit him. He dashes back in with the Abyssal Voyage, so. brings him forward. And Chovy is shut out of the fight. BLG find two. That might be it. That might be the moment that BLG have been looking for. They're going to run towards the Baron. Doran waits too long with the stopwatch. Wants to get his Meganar, ends up going down, and then on! Knocks off Chovy, that's gonna be Baron! Doran holds his flash. Chenji. The, the arena is full of dread right now. The hometown favorites of Genji. Ultimate, Peanut. Onto Shun, the killer instinct going forward as well. They can lock Shun up and they'll shut him out. The shutdown over to Pays. They know where Peanut is. Chovy can TP though, but ideally he wants the back. Doesn't get to. He's now TPing in as well. Chovy gets in. Has to dash away, but Shun still able to land. The knock of the shockwave was waiting. Couldn't quite find his mark, but the flames are spitting hey! from Bin and Chovy cataclysmed into an early grave. And now Gen.G on the back foot. BOG, five members strong, will take the in -hip. Will they look for more? I mean, why wouldn't they? They have the Nexus in their eyes. BOG are looking to end it here. Hayes, Doran, Delight, and Peanut. Four members strong for Gen.G trying to defend, but BLG as five push in. The first Nexus Tower down. Delight can the still mega. engage. The Shockwave fights oh! two, but the Magnus Storm from Delight onto the back line immediately. Locks up BLG for a second, and now back from Doran as well. It's all it's on Pays. He's trying to do everything he can to cease and desist under the tower. Will shut out Bin. Pays dancing and weaving his way around the fight. No minions left, though. But BLG means they have to back away. Genji hold on to their Nexus. Favor of BLG. The gold is pretty much dead even, but it feels like that this series has been all about momentum and right vision Genji have.
Delight needs to be careful. Awesome Grace is going to hit him. He's going to try and jump away, but the chase is on. The Equalizer coming out as well. Delight can look for the re-engage. Dorman goes in with the Meganar. Pays now dives onto the back line. Delight already down, but they killed off Belk as well. Shun tries to get in with the Cataclysm, and he'll get the shot down onto Pays. And now it's all on Toby. He's dashing. He's dancing around the fight. The perfect execution for POG may be too much. Toby buys a second, but he just can't buy the win. BLG forced Gen.G out of their own jungle. Here we are. They'll start this one off. The TP comes through. Doran's yeah, got to be gone. He's going to be forced to base. There's no smite. Oh my goodness. What a crazy team fight. The moment I saw Elk drop, I thought, Pays can carry this whole fight. But then it was Yakao Shockwave combined with Shun's ultimate. The TP TP comes in behind. Chobi looking for something. Delay already caught out by Bin. He's going to have to dash away. On going in with the Abyssal Voyage. Chobi looking for that flank position, but the oh. Equalizer coming down. And now, oh, once again, doesn't quite get him into the wall. Elk gobbled up as On is going to spit him out, and the tower's already gone down. Dawning Shadow out as Peanut Bulls. Everyone on Gen G is so low. Elk still full HP. Oh no, and BLG, they might try and look for the end. And everything invested by Gen G. No ult on Delight, not on Pays either. Yagao still has the Shockwave to send a shock through the crowd here in Busan. Pays low again, rooted up. The shockwave just short. The stopwatch from Pays buys a second, but Shun still has the GA. Chobi trying to clear out the minions as the Nar back from Doran once again. GA. But on just tanks for days. GA coming out from Shun, and now it's all on Chobi. That's it's it. all on Pays. And we were told Busan was the church of Chobi. But what's a god to And these were some of the best highlights from the world's 2023 quarterfinals matchup between Gen G and BLG. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.